first thing we're going to do pull everything out of this PC and then we will start to transfer everything onto the motherboard install what we need to in this PC case rebuild it with the parts out of this temporary PC <laughs> Okay, so I've already done a few videos showing you guys how to pull apart a PC and rebuild it. So for this video, let's just get straight into the build and I won't go into too much detail. If you watch my previous videos, they will show you precisely how to pull apart a PC and rebuild it. that's our i9 removed we can leave everything else in this because we're not going to use anything else we may just take off the fan hub we can now start installing everything into the other pc so first we're going to install our cpu remove our cover grab our cpu now of course when you reinstall the cpu clean it Also clean off the thermal paste off your CPU cooler. This slides into here like so and then it drops down so you can lock it in. In this case where you have a fan like this, you need to install the fan first, then reinstall your M2 drive. Now you have your RAM CPU installed, let's put this in the PC case. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I already had a lot of my cables pre-wired, so I'm just going to pull them all back so I can install the motherboard. So this time I'm running a fan cable underneath the motherboard. It's just another good way to hide your cables. You can run other cables as well. Got our back panel in. test run just make sure everything works okay, here I am using some Wi-Fi yeah, it all works okay now we can shut it down and continue to install everything knowing that it all works
technische Station zum Kälten der. with the closest SATA connection we have this puppy right here we'll plug that in and then we'll move on over to the next SATA connection cross over to our next SATA connection which is this one here and then we have another SATA connection right here right here Bam. Perfect, done. 
we need to sort these out in a much nicer way. We need to tie it all down like that. So we need something to tie all these together first. So we're going to use my Velcro. And we need all this to stay flat as well. So this is the final product here guys as you can see so since building it I've added a couple of things like the hard drives you know that's pretty standard to install you just have to plug in your SATA cables run your cables through and plug in your SATA cables from the motherboard to the hard drive you know very very self-explanatory uh, you'll see it in my other videos as well and uh, as you can see here I've got everything running off this hub so most of it can be controlled off this one controller and uh, I can switch it to any color I choose I can even switch the modes the speed of the lights and also the brightness so you know this is a very cool little feature and as you can see here I've also added the RGB graphics card cable they're two eight pins and then I've got the sleeve cables going into the RGB cables I've also added this other Aorus Gigabyte graphics card holder and also as you can see down here I've got a little four inch Screen and I'm using this to monitor my PC stats. It is a wireless configuration I've used a app called mod bros. They do all sorts of software programming computer mods and so forth But we'll save all that for another video Basically, this is the end result of my ultimate PC build. This is going to be my go-to PC I'm going to use this for video editing playing games. I've put a lot of love and dedication into um, coming from a Coming from a non-PC background, I really have had a lot of fun building this PC. I'm very happy with the end result. If you have been following my other videos, you'd know that originally I had the Gigabyte 1080 Ti, but now I've switched it to this iGame because my 1080 Ti had to be sent back to the manufacturer for a warranty claim because it stopped working. In future, I have plans to upgrade the graphics card to maybe the RX 6800 XT or maybe the newer version 6900 XT it all just depends on what I'm feeling at that point in time or maybe even the 3090 I just wanted to show you guys that um, anybody can do this um, it really isn't hard to build a PC just give it a go and take your time and you can end up with a awesome PC build of your own that you can put together and save that little bit of extra money because you're not paying somebody else to do it for you. It is cheaper to buy your own parts and put it together rather than buying it pre-built and put together a PC that will last you for the next two, three years. There you have it guys, my ultimate personal PC build. Because I'm very new to PC building, I've just gone with air cooling, but for my next PC, when I do plan to upgrade, I will probably try water cooling. Now, I've heard that it's probably just a gimmick. Everybody feels differently about different modifications. It's personally something that I want to try. In the end, I really don't think water cooling is a necessity. It's not like you need water cooling in order to have a PC that runs sufficiently. And that brings us to the end of the video. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. I will break down the separate modifications for this PC and do separate videos showing you how to add them in. Thanks again for watching. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs. Signing off.